So my brothers and sisters in Islam, we are now in Rajab and we must honor this sacred month because Allah Azza wa Jal honored it and its honor was mentioned in the Quran. Its sacredness was mentioned in the Quran. How do we honor this month? Listen, three ways. Number one, we must believe and acknowledge that this month we are in now, the month of Rajab, is a sacred month. It's a noble month. That's the first way of honoring it. You must acknowledge this in your heart, in your soul, in your mind. Don't be heedless of this fact. And don't have this fact only for today after this lesson and then tomorrow is a different story. Rajab is with us here for another 30 days, a month. Keep this fact in your mind alive. You must acknowledge its sacredness and you must honor it. That's the first way in honoring this month. Number two, the way you honor this month that we're in Rajab, the sacred month, is by not wronging yourself, which means keep away from sin. Delay your sins. Keep away from them. Do not do them now. Stay away from sins. If you plan to do a sin, delay it. Delay it till after Ramadan. Not now. Will, trust me, if you do that, by the time Ramadan comes, you would have, have developed enough Iman and strength that you will leave the sin altogether and never return to it. So right now, it's a psychological game in your mind. And play this game well. Win over your desire. Be victorious over a shaitan. Be victorious over your desire. Say to yourself, if you have a desire to sin, say to yourself, I'm going to delay this sin until after Ramadan. I will delay it after Ramadan. Let me delay it. You know, that's yani, When we learn about sabr, one of the categories of sabr is to sabr anil ma'asiyah, is to be patient from sins. You know that's a form of sabr? When you keep away from sin and you're being patient, you're being patient as you keep away from the sin. Your desire is burning inside. You want to watch that haram clip. You want to chat to a woman in haram. You want to do something that's haram. But you be patient and you say, Oh Allah, I'm going to remain patient for your sake. I'm going to delay this sin. I'm going to delay. That patience is rewarded. That patience is rewarded. Allahu Akbar. As-sabru anil ma'asiyah is a great form of patience. So this is what you need to do to honor this month. Delay the sin. By Wallahi, by the time Ramadan comes during Rajab and Sha'ban and Ramadan, you will have enough Iman, enough power, enough strength that is given to you by Allah that you will cut this sin in your life completely. You will not feel any desire for it, nor any attachment for it. Trust me, my brothers and sisters in Islam. You need to be patient. Be patient and be ithnillah. You will see the benefit of your patience. Subhanallah. And you must also keep away from wronging others. Do not oppress anyone in this month. Keep away from that. You shouldn't do that at all. But especially in this month. And the third way in how we honor this month is that you should know there is no special good deed that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that should be done in Rajab. There's no specific salat. There's no specific fasting. There's nothing specific that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that if Rajab enters, then do one, two, three. There's nothing like this. Now I continue normally, do whatever good deeds you do, increase in your good deeds, increase in your fasting, pray the nights without believing that there's a specific hadith that told us to do so in the, during this month. And the one thing that you should focus on, and this is the third point I'm sharing with you in how to honor this month, the one thing that should be your focus is to keep your heart clean from all sins and from all evil and from all filth and lewdness and shamelessness and vulgarity. Keep away from all this garbage, all this rubbish. Keep away from the path of a shaitan. Stay away from it all together. Make sure your heart is cleansed in this month. Focus on that. Clean your heart in this month, the month of Rajab. Come on, my brothers and sisters in Islam. There's only Rajab. And then there is Sha'ban. And then Ramadan. And then Ramadan. And wallahi, 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 my brothers and sisters in Islam. 
the one who refrains from sin and fights himself. This requires effort and mujahada from your side. It requires a struggle. The one who struggles against himself to keep away from sin, wallahi, he is going to see the effect of it in Ramadan. When Ramadan comes, you're going to feel a huge, a huge spike in your Iman. A huge elevation in your Iman, in your relationship with Allah Azza Because you've been preparing from it from now. It is wajib, my brothers and sisters in Islam, that we honor this month that we're in. Rajab, keep away from sins. 